It is so wonderful to be able to be here in my home, with my home state. All right, everybody now, settle down. Everybody settle down, please. Okay. All right, we have a big program. We have a big program today. Let's hear. Let's be respectful. Please be quiet so Debbie can speak. We it's okay. Everybody, let's hear from our speakers. We have other speakers as well. Yes. Right. Love you, Debbie. Thank you all so much. Now, keep in mind, those were delegates from her state of Florida. Meanwhile, Bernie Sanders also addressed delegates and supporters today. Here's how a raucous crowd reacted when he urged them to vote for the clinton kane Democratic ticket. And we have got to elect Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine. And CBS News correspondent Nancy Cordes joins me now from our newsroom right here at the Wells Fargo Center. Nancy, good to see you. Uh, so a couple of things to get through. First, uh, the resignation by Debbie Wasserman Schultz, and then the news that she is not going to be gaveling in today. That's right. And Wasserman Schultz clearly thought that the announcement yesterday that she was going to be stepping down would be enough to placate Bernie Sanders supporters. But obviously, she learned the hard way uh, at that Florida delegation breakfast this morning that it wasn't. Uh, yes, this was her home state. She represents uh, a district in Miami. But like any state, there are Bernie Sanders delegates and there are Hillary Clinton delegates. And the Bernie Sanders delegates wanted to make their unhappiness known. And it was a sign to her and to the Clinton campaign, which was already somewhat alarmed, uh, that if she tried to gavel in the full convention on the floor of the Wells Fargo Arena, where you are, that you would see a similar scene except multiplied by 50 states, that it would be pandemonium, that you'd see exactly um, the kind of scene that we saw this one? at the Republican convention last week when Ted Cruz supporters protested on the floor on day one uh, during a, a vote about the rules. And so that's something that uh, everyone was very eager to avoid. So around midday, she uh, told the Sun Sentinel in her home state of Florida that she would not be gaveling in the convention, that she would be handing those duties over to Stephanie Rawlings Blake, who's the mayor of Baltimore, and she'll be keeping a very, very low profile here for the rest of the week before stepping down entirely once the convention is over. All right, Nancy Cordes from our newsroom right here in Philadelphia. Thank you so much, Nancy.